What's up, everybody? Awesome nobody here. In the next episode of what I'm calling the Groom's Guide, I'm here and welcome to my closet. The Holy Grail, the the questions and asked. Everybody wanted to always know what's in there, where do I get my stuff from. So I'm gonna I'm gonna share that with you guys a little bit and give you guys some tips on everything. Um, I, if you guys, th thank you first of all for tuning in. The first episode I did was more about how I found the stuff, Amazon, Etsy, stuff like that. And today we got the groom suits here. They came in the mail. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the different styles, and this is gonna be from the internet to the real life. And I'm gonna show you guys some other blazers that I have, uh, some cuts, some styles, talk about pants, uh, shoes, loafers, dress shirts. Because remember, not only do I have to dress for the welcome dinner, I have to dress for the rehearsal, I have to dress for the rehearsal dinner, then I have to, you know, basically the bachelor night, the night before the wedding or of the wedding, and then the actual wedding itself. So I'm not gonna reveal my, my blazer for the wedding, uh, pretty much because I wanted to start some new traditions with my fiance. And I told her that, you know, this tradition of not being able to see the wedding dress, I understand what it's about, but it should be the same for us. So I'm like, look, we both gonna surprise each other. We both gonna look nice and we both gonna have a legendary magical evening with our way we look, the way we are, and just love in general. So let's, so let's kick things off with the groom's guy and let's talk about the groom suit. So this is it. I mean, nothing fancy. Very traditional. I wanted to come in there with the blue and the black lapel, right? And uh, and remember, we were talking about Etsy. And we were talking about <clears throat> the uh, hangers. So here I have the Mr. Griffin hanger for my suit. So, you know, when we get ready to take the picture uh, at the hotel or wherever you at, you see me, you'll probably see me reach for it. And you might see, you'll see, you know, we'll shoot it nice. You'll see the logo, you'll see the, you know, the blazer, I have the pocket square and all that stuff and the lapel pin and all that. So we'll, we'll, def we'll definitely uh, have it going and having it look good. My thing just fell, <clears throat> but we'll definitely have it looking good. You know what I'm saying? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six blazers and all different sizes, as you see, pretty much all identical. And that was, that was the thing we wanted to match to make sure that the blues were the same blue. And that uh, you know everything matched up. So you got pocket square, pocket square, pocket square, same fabric on the lapel. Uh, and then you know, not not much as far as inside, um, but you can add customizations. There's stores that will do customizations as far as embroidery. Now, look, this is something that a lot of guys forget with these suits, and I'm already checking. <laughs> I'm actually gonna move this a little closer. There's no there's no uh band usually suits will come with a basically the maker of the suit here on the inside cut that off you know what i'm saying i'm tired of seeing y'all have these suits with the labels here that tell you what suit it is and then also too the pocket get some scissors and cut the threads you're not supposed to this is an active pocket and then the same thing cut the pocket so that way you can put stuff in it now make sure you check to make sure that you, you have a pocket there because some of them, you're right, sometimes they don't, they make them without the actual pocket. It's a faux pocket. So just check to make sure. But if not, get some scissors when you first get the suit and cut it. So that way you can use that pocket. So one, two, three pockets you have to check. You don't just have to stay, you know, to the inside pockets. You know, you can do all the pockets to, to, to sort of jazz it up. But yeah, these are the suits that we got. Uh, one of my groomsmen is coming to pick them up. And then as we get there, I'm going to have pretty much as you see it now, they can just pick their suit out. Now, one of the responsibilities on their on themselves was to order their, their shoes, right? So I showed you guys on Amazon that one of my groomsmen brought the shoes back. But there's a lot of places you might have to just, you know, spend some time, you know, going through stores or telling your guys to go to their favorite dress stores. Because I got, I, I found these loafers on at Macy's. I mean, these weren't, are not for the wedding, but... I mean, this, I like wearing these. Anytime I go somewhere, they're very comfortable, you know, INC. Uh, and I mean, look, if if one of my guys came back and said, look, we really want these or this, this Navy. And as you can see too, it's like a velvet type of material. I mean, it's simple. These were 50, that was 50. Like it, it doesn't have to be so costly. 
you know, because uh, real wealth is something that we're all trying to achieve. Let's not, I understand about faking it until you make it, but let's just be realistic about some things. So the next thing as far as shoes I want to talk about is a pair of shoes that I believe every guy should have, especially for business. The price is coming down on these a lot. So listen, if you go to DSW, I know you guys drive probably past four or five DSWs. Go to DSW, man. They got some good stuff in there. These, I get questions about these shoes all the time. These are the shoes that I took my engagement pictures in uh, with Little Miss Entertainment. They're Cole Han, uh, and they are the Grand the, the Grand OS shoes. Um, it They kind of look brown here in the picture, but if you put them, they're like a, a reddish brown, like a new buck, I believe. Uh, and there is suede elements on the inside, if you can see. This high quality, these at one point was $300. So you talk about your Jordans, complain about your 190 At one point, when I bought these, I believe it was like $200. These was, and they are super comfortable. So I used to wear these to walk uh, when I was working in New York. And these really made a big statement in the engagement photo. So they these are the only shoes that are dressy and that come in a variety of colors. I've seen lime green bottoms. I've seen suede uppers. I've seen, I mean, they really make, became the Nike Air Force Ones of dress shoes. Um, you know, so I'm not doing a vest. Uh, like I said, I, I had a couple of ideas for the dress shirts. I'm going to probably order two or three uh, button down dress shirts. Uh, and then we talk about, um, I'm doing a bow tie, no tie. Um, and then we, we, but there's a couple other things that I, got that I wasn't sure what I was going to wear. So let's start with uh, the welcome dinner, okay? So on the welcome is July 3rd. It's a hangout barbecue. Here's some options, right? Um, I'll start in the back of the closet. So this is a plaid. This is a plaid. This is a plaid shirt. You know what I'm saying? Decent, chill, pre-chill. Um, pre-chill. Uh, you know, definitely eye-catching, accent, collar, but more of a wintertime thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's July, but listen, you never know what some of those nights are like. It could be a little bit cold. So that's an option that I have. Uh, another option, I mean, you, everybody wants to do the Burberry, um, everybody wants to do the Burberry button-downs, button-down, bur baby shower. Any special event, go get a Burberry butt down. But Burberry has a lot of stuff that you can get that you don't even have to, you know, pretty much. You can do something better than the, just the daggone button up, you know. So here, Burberry hoodie, you know, from the Burberry store, Tyson's Galleria. Um, and then another, another shirt I found, pretty decent Fendi hoodie, uh, just with a pocket, accented pocket. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And it's just for something nice. <clears throat> Y'all seen us stop. So these are some of my bigger options for the wedding. I mean, look, hard is to find, but the Fendi T, uh, you know what I'm saying, with the Chanel, the Chanel print on the front of the Fendi. Uh, that's definitely a, a, a solid look that I have for the wedding. This is Dior, Dior um, monogram print, pretty much the, the all over print. So I can wear that. And then here, this is my other Dior shirt, but it's, it's white, and I need to wash that. And so, I mean, but options come from unexpected places. A lot of this stuff I got, uh, a lot of the stuff I got, options come from very unexpected places, and a lot of stuff I got was, believe it or not, like I said, Etsy um, or Poshmark. Not saying designer stuff, but I'm talking about shirts like this. Like, I know she, she has one, too, so she's been waiting waiting for this and this is something you get off etsy and, and and i'm gonna wear it just for her when we go onto the plane and when we're going to our honeymoon this is the fiance shirt well i guess i can't at that point but i'm gonna have to wear it to the to the to the parties all right um all right so that's it for tease and look uh i'm gonna come i'm gonna step it up a little bit and get into some of the dressier wear so that some those are some options i could wear for a barbecue I mean, in shorts, matter of fact, let me just highlight these real quick. Shorts, uh, I really like the tech shorts, right? So these, these got have the big tech pocket. You probably can't see that well, but it's a, the big zip pocket, like the Nike, the Nike, 
you know, the, except these aren't even the Nike ones. These are the Galaxy joints. So, you know, in the mall, you know what I'm saying? Like, they got that store with all the Fugazi look, crazy looking, you know what I'm saying? Somewhat designer shit. But, I mean, I'm all for, like, the short wear. Like, these shorts really, really work well. And so, uh, you, as far as going places and needing to, to, to just have a pair of shorts that can you can use because I and have a problem with losing stuff. So those are some good shorts. I do have two or three pairs of Nike uh, tech shorts there. And then oh, we're doing my shirt. All right. So look, this is Zara. So listen, places like Zara, man, that's a must walk on a weekly basis. Now alone, this is just another over pattern button down right zara man slim fit this is an extra large so it's probably even big for me let's see you always gotta these are what i call accent pieces because check this out as soon as i put the blazer on it it turns into a whole different outfit now please don't get me wrong i'm not the fondest of brown right but i understand that certain times You need to step out your comfort zone with the way you dress. I'm actually gonna move this a little closer. You gotta step out of your comfort zone a little bit the way you dress. So, I mean, I like this outfit. Not, it's not my favorite, but if I need to go somewhere and it's been around some people that I really only wear black or some sort of darker blue, uh, this is a surprise. I got a lot of good feedback and this is suede. So usually on my grown man swag, suede, is the, is is the way I go, so I'm all I'm pretty much all suede all the time when it's a serious event. Uh, I just like the way it feels, and then also too, what did pops tell you in Boomerang? You got coordinate. <laughs> you got to coordinate. You got to coordinate. Pocket square coordination, inner po inner pocket coordination. Come on, man, you got to coordinate, coordinate. Uh, so that's 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 one outfit that I like a lot. Um, Let's see. On your button up, I mean, you can never go wrong with something subtle. Something when I say subtle, meaning like from a distance, it looks plain, but when you get on cl up close, you see the detail. And this is one of those shirts. If you put a blazer underneath this, you probably won't even be able to tell that it has a pattern from a distance. But as soon as you, you know, go over or bump into them at the cocktail table or see them over in the reception area, you're like, holy crap, this is nice. This is nice. I want you to take the jacket off. They're like, oh, man, this is nice. So this is all from Macy's. Usually when it comes to the, some of the dress shirts, I'm either at Zara, Macy's, or looking online, Amazon. Now, I, I really, really like this shirt because it's very 90-ish. I'm from the 90s. You know, some of that older school Versace style was very, very important, and I liked it a lot. So here we have a Versace style shirt. Pretty much, I mean, it's got the A on the sleeves. I always say it's not it's not what they stand for, but, you know, pretty much the A for awesome. And then it had the big A on the back. You get what I'm saying? So it was just fancy. I wore it L.A. I, I haven't really worn it any place else. But listen, if, if, if it needs to come out, it can come out at any time. So, you know, just be – so just keep pieces that, that are uh, key. And so – I said, why stop with one? I hopped out a couple times. Now, these still, yeah, you can't just always say I got a problem because this stuff, as you see, always still got the tags on. I ain't wear this stuff. So this is the same thing. It's like a Versace style shirt as well. And I could possibly wear this to the rehearsal or one of the barbecues. And this, this is me stepping totally, totally out of my comfort zone. This is a leopard print. I don't even have any shoes to match with this. But, um... If the need is there, the shirt, so is the shirt. And the same thing goes with, I can always match these up with different blazers. I can always match these up with different pants. And so let's talk about the pants for a second because uh, <clears throat> I really, really, really wanted to step outside my zone when it comes to the pants because what I'm seeing a lot more nowadays is that the pants are becoming more sophisticated and the shirts are becoming more plain. So I really wanted to be able to pop out with just a, a, a multicolored pants and a white 
shirt, right? And so this was sort of how, how it popped out. These were Macy's again. This was like a plaid camo Canadian leaf type of pants. And the reason why I say leaf is because the blazer that it had had the same, the same pattern of leaf on there that you can see. And, and, and it looks like leaves from a distance. So those were a pants, the pair of pants that I had I could pull out. These were the pants that I actually had when I got engaged. And these were all Zara uh, or H&M. It's so Zara H&M, and it's just a flat front, expandable waist pants. Very nice, uh, very dry, comfortable. Not they're, they're tight, but they feel very nice. And so the expandable on the waist is just the side buttons. Um, and then flat front, as you can see, meaning no, nothing from, oh, I'm on the side, nothing from here to here as far as the pleats from the pocket, this is the zipper to the pocket. So that these were just a, a khaki plaid type, type of pants. <clears throat> and then, this, I don't have this on a wooden hanger, but these are just a, a, a darker plaid with grays and some other colors. And then Target, man, listen, if you got an extra hundred bucks, just go to Target and get a whole bunch of multicolor pants. It's going to save your, your life for the weekend. Just go get a ton of color pants. I pretty much went, went there and got every pair, right, of color pants. I got brown. Why not? I was like, why not? <laughs> because you never know what you need. So I got another blue. I got, of course, like a business gray. This is a, you probably can't tell, this is a baby blue. The light, the white might make it look light, but this is a baby blue. And then I got, these are a darker gray. Yeah, these are darker gray pants um, in a different material. So those were some of the pants. You've seen some of the, the groomsmen blazers. You've seen the paint, uh, the shirts for the barbecue. Some of the more dressy and shirts in the pants. Uh, and so now let's look at the blazers. So I don't collect blazers, but I collect blazers, right? I really, it's, I've, for a long time, and this is really before Amazon, blazers were hard to find. You know, they were charging probably $100 or really the only blazers that they were for guys was really like the high, high blazers. So meaning like the Ralph Lauren, the Tommy Hill figures, you know, sort of if, you, if you're familiar with Macy's and the guy section is this, the suit section, and they got basically the black, a whole section of black suits, and in the back is like the blazers. But it really wasn't until brands like Ink and you know some other brands that was just coming out with nice, I call them pop out blazers, we could pop in or pop out real quick and just make a statement. And you know, so when I see a good blazer, I always buy it just because I already know how I roll. Like the amount of places I go to, I need blazers all the time, and so. This is one that I've had for a few years. I, I do believe I ordered it online. It is a white blazer, black lapel. It's a staple for sophistication when it comes to male fashion. So I saw it, uh, and no shame, this is Tazio. I don't know if that's, I don't know if it's high-end, not high-end, whatever. Listen, I need our compliments in this. Uh, my fiance is extremely happy when I wear this, and everybody knows when I bring this out, this is a, it's a big event. We actually, I actually switched clothes and wore it on our on her 30th birthday uh, at, at, at Dave and Buster's. Uh, and so here's another one. So this is another blazer that I'm actually, I have, I like the uniqueness of it, but really don't have a practical place to wear it. You get what I'm saying? But I, I and it has, and this is another thing I don't like. It has this faux cuff. It has this faux cuff that's only on one side. You see how it's just like, it's, it's a faux cuff, it's not a real cuff. You know what I'm saying? It stops right here, but it's folded on this side. So it's a weird, I, I'm not defining this to that, but this is ASOS. You know what I'm saying? I ordered this from ASOS. Uh, I, I do have this on one of my pages for sale. Uh, and I mean, it's I like it a lot. I just don't have no place to wear it. I could wear it for the rehearsal. I could wear it for something else regardless of the wedding. I could wear it on the honeymoon. I mean, I could do tons of things with it. And listen, one in the hand is better than two in the bush. So I got it, I got it. Um, and I also forgot, the reason why I bought a lot of these suits was for the engagement cruise. So yeah, so a lot of these were my engagement suits. I wore the white, I wore that one, and then I wore this one. And I still got the um, the lapel pin in here. 
so yeah so this was just a burgundy always really liked the deep burgundy color uh you know this was a suit i'm trying to think where i got it from it either was macy's or online or um or another store but um once again i cut the pockets make sure i could use them and it, it looked really good um when we had the engagement party and you see this how similar it is as far as like styles i mean that's the look right the, to, to me the accented lapel is what really sets the outfit off so as you see like if i see a blazer with a different color lapel i pretty much jump on it <laughs> you know like i kind of feel bad now highlighting it like this because this kind of has been my go-to collection which is just like different blazers with different color lapels you know that's that's like my go-to now uh so i got the that one that one that one that one and, and, and i'm ready for any situation preparation is half the battle all right so i got some basic suits uh, casual suits and some other suits but then let's also talk about drip so this is a pendleton this is a pendleton style jacket um, you know, this is something I can wear in Hawaii on a cold night. This is something I can pull out if I needed it. Um, I, I did get this at Zara. Um, I really like this jacket, um, and just can't wait to wear it. I mean, I just, like I said, I always see something and if I, if I think I can have a need for it or resale, then I pick it up. All right. I wasn't really going to show anybody this until later, but I'm giving you guys a true sneak peek into my closet. All right, so uh, this is it. This is a rare item I had just custom made, and um, you know, uh, it's it's my Louis, it's my Louis Vuitton, you know, what I'm saying track jacket uh, that I had custom made, and you know, this I'm bringing this out for the wedding, and this could this could probably be what I wear to the barbecue or the, the rehearsal dinner later, depending on the vibes, um, but uh, or just on the honeymoon. But I, I spent the time and had it custom custom made and uh jackets is to me life jackets give me life so little miss always say like oh you got so many jackets but this is like a cure this is what you call a curated closet like these are all pieces that i hand selected over time like things i've had my eye on and sort of worked towards it like i was literally looking for white blazers with black lapels until i found one and now that i got it it's going to last a long time um i'm going to bring this out but i'm not going to show you guys the you know the little window that gives you the sneak peek this is my uh face of my wedding jacket this is my wedding jacket uh i mean this is the custom one that i had uh it took a while so shout out to styles by che uh, or shout out to styles by shy excuse me uh because this is like i said my wedding blazer i had a custom made by styles by shy uh, I'll put the Instagram in the description. He did an amazing, amazing job. And now, like I said, we're doing something different here. Uh, Candace, Loomis Entertainment, my fiance has not seen my suit. And we're starting a new tradition. We're doing something where she trusts me. My fashion sense has been good for a long time. I'm solid. I'm not going to do anything ostentatious. I'm not going to do anything crazy that's going to throw everything off. I'm sticking to the colors. I'm sticking to the patterns. I just wanted a very mature sophisticated custom look that I couldn't find at men's warehouse that I couldn't find online and they had it. And so that's pretty much what I had him make. Um, there, there was a larger cost involved, but I felt like it was worth it to have the look that would last a lifetime. And so, like I said, Loomis Entertainment has not seen this. It's here in my closet. I mean, we're trusting each other. Her, her wedding, excuse me, her wedding dress is over there in the, in the, in the, in the spare room closet, and I haven't looked at it. And so we're, we're definitely following the honor system on this. Uh, but yeah, we 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 have it, and now I just need to get shoes. I need to get shoes, and I got my eye on a couple of shoes. I think the next rooms guy video I'm going to do is to talk about um, where I'm looking to get my shoes from, like my actual shoes in the different styles. Uh, and, and how it, you can find high quality shoes for a low cost. So I'm gonna put this away, just so nobody see. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as my closet goes, uh, I got a couple of custom pieces. You know, I'm big into the sneakers. Uh, you know, um, 
But you know, after a while, it gets the sneakers they get. It gets bulky. So I, I mean, and they, they deteriorate. Sneakers are meant to be worn, as you guys can see here. I'm gonna drop it a little bit. I did go get the sneaker cubes. It, well, Little Miss Entertainment. I don't want to make it sound like me. Little Miss Entertainment took me to the container store. We got the container to put my sneakers in. So I think I have I have 24 containers because I have 23 pairs of Jordans or whatever. And I got more <laughs> behind this door, and some I had to throw away. You know what I'm saying? Because I just had too many. And I'm actually trying to in the process of reselling a lot of these sneakers. So look, if y'all really want to donate support, I'll sell a couple pieces to y'all. You know what I'm saying? If just if y'all want a couple pair. And, um, you know, that's fine with me. And But I also want to talk about footwear because, you know what you see now? All, all I really see is a ton, a ton of people. And what they're doing is they're only wearing the Balenciagas and the, you know, whatever else. And, they, and I feel like those things are too big. Don't sleep on coach. Coach men. I'm not talking about coach women. We all know the stigma around coach women. And what I'm saying is that it's not as high quality as the other brands. Coach is still nice. I have this expression when you're going through this process, the love is what makes it great, but then the accommodations and it's the look and the, 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 the coordination is what makes it nice. And so I didn't get the Balenciagas. I didn't get the, well, I do have a pair of Gucci, but I didn't get anything. I got a pair of Coach sneakers that I like. It was on sale. There was a suede material. I told you how I feel about suede. Uh, uh, this is what you call high quality leather, grain leather. Uh, and they were low cost. And so these are my designs just to be different. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, I'm going to do something else. Y'all can do them bulky Balenciagas that everybody don't have $800 to spend. And even if you had $800, why would you spend it on that? So I just went and got my coach. You know what I'm saying? I've seen them trying to make a big effort in the black community. They got Michael B. Jordan. And I just really been liking a lot of their designs. And that's really all that matters. Like when it comes to fashion, get what you like. We've heard Kanye say that. We heard all these people say that. Like, if I like it, guess what? I'll spend my money on it. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to buy into it just for the stigma of hype. Um, trying to think what else, if there's anything else. Um, customization stuff. So this shirt is a customization. It's the original Razor Comb, which is sponsoring this episode. And then we we have our wedding hats. This is an, our hashtag is going to be an awesome wedding. But, we you know, we have a whole phone situation, so we're not really using the phone. So we had this hat made. Uh, and we both have one. She has a couple of shirts. And then there was a time uh, we both had jerseys made. And so, uh, you know, we do have the Little Miss Entertainment jerseys. And we're probably we're probably going to have bring these back out when it comes time for the honeymoon. Um, and, oh, okay, so look, speaking of honeymoon, speaking of honeymoon, let's talk about bathing suits. All right. Um, board, there's bathing suits. There's board shorts. I prefer the board shorts. But I did get a couple pairs of bathing suits. And you guys see these. I mean, this is all left over from this is all left over from my engagement stuff. I went, I went and got the big Fendi, the Fendi bathing suits. Now, these things are hard as hell to find out of season. So at, what's out of season? Summertime. I was looking for a pair of designer bathing suits in the summertime. Totally sold out. It's on everybody's butts. You gotta look now. So if this is April, May, now's the time to go online. And find your bathing suits. And honestly, you're not going to find them on the designer websites because they're uh, one or two seasons ahead or they're, they're on the, into another collection. So I got those. And then I went also and got the Christian Dior joints. Now, I had these from since Miami. And I had those other, the Fendi ones since um, the engagement cruise. And that's it. I mean, it's not hard. It's not overly expensive. Don't buy everything in one day. Spread your money out, save towards your stuff, and buy a little at a time. And the next thing you know, you have the closet that you like or the closet that you want. I'm trying to think if I have any other pieces or things that might be worth showing. That's a surprise. Let me let me take a dig. Let me dig deep. Let me dig deep. No, I don't think I, I don't think I have anything off the top that's super exclusive. No, that's it. So listen, this has been the next episode of The Groom Guide. I want to thank you guys. This is real time looking to my real closet with a lot of my wedding stuff. So, you know, this is special to me. I hope it was special to y'all. 
for the third episode, what I'll probably do is I'll, you know, talk about, you know, Poshmark. And that has been a big thing for me. And that is one platform that I've been selling a lot of these clothes on after, because like I said, I'm very limited to where I go. It's been a pandemic. I haven't been wearing them as much, so they've been sitting around. So I'm going to do an episode on Poshmark and give you guys a look at my Poshmark sales, what I've been making on there, and just how I put stuff up. So look, thank you guys. This is a, the Groom's Guide presented by The Wedding Edition. I'm your host, Awesome Nobody. And look, we're at 56 days into the wedding. So thank you guys for checking in and stay tuned to the next episode.